It's a great honor that we have Nick Lowry here. I had called ahead to get a football, uh, but we didn't have one, so I, I made one. I'm going to try to keep this to about 15 minutes, so I don't think I'm going to be here forever, but I, I just feel so honored uh, to be part of this, to have met some of you guys, uh, and everything that's been said so far is, is, is so true. And you'll look back on this year, it's going to be hard not to be emotional because you guys have touched so many people. And because what you've done is really so true, it's really important. And you're going to look back on this year and say, you know, as big as that state championship was, Titan Empire, right? <laughs> Coach Todd, keep the ball. <laughs> and then you're going to realize the pattern that there were, there were roots and there were seeds that were planted in your parents and your coaches, brothers, who knows where they came from, that made you extra special as people. And most importantly, the hardest thing of all, look at how many NFL teams have great players in it. Just never play that well. Because they're missing them. And you guys have that. You guys have incredible seniors, great coaches, great parents. And if you will, just Will the players stand up and please just applaud all the other people in this room what they did for you this year? Please stand up. Let's applaud all the other people that were here. Choose to be with 
the friends you surround yourself with, the friends you choose not to surround yourself with, maybe even more important. That's the hardest thing maybe of all. And that creates your team, your business, the coaching staff, the coach talked about, and then your family, all those things. Those things will be important to you every moment. Every moment of your life. So I just, I am so humbled to be here. I really am. Because it's like I'm with all these guys that are like 100 years old emotionally, you know, in the right way. And, it's, and I hope that you remember that and you use that and you don't say, ah, oh, you know, that was, that was dead. All these things will stay with you if you want them to and, and make, make a big difference. So I'm going to share a couple stories with you about that journey for me. First day, this old guy, Dick Johnson, was uh, petitioning our head coach, Gary Gardner, to coach me. He'd never been a kicker. And I remember thinking, what's this guy going to do? And I came up to him on a Sunday, drove out, my mom dropped me off, and the first thing he said to me was, did you thank your I said, what do you mean? Did you thank your, your mom for driving you all the way in from McLean, Virginia, into Washington, D.C.? I'm like, I He said, well, next time, why don't you remember to do that? Think about all the time your parents made that time for you. And then he told me a really amazing story. Three months earlier, and this relates to what's happened with you this, this year. Three months earlier, this is when I'm in high school, right? Dick told me he was dying of hepatitis, okay? He was dying, he'd been dying for a month. He was on his deathbed. Literally, it was gonna be that moment, one way or the other. And this face appeared to him that he hadn't thought of in 60 years. He was in his early 70s. This kid. And yet he knew who it was. And he said, Dick, you stood up for me when I was being bullied back in seventh grade. And I never, never forgot that. You stood up for me. I'm here to tell you. I'm standing up for you. You're not going to die. And that was the first story Dick ever told me. And uh, he became, here's this guy who was, he called himself an old clam digger for me. But he became an unbelievably great coach for me. And as I got cut by all those teams, who was the guy telling me every time I fell down, every time I got cut, it was whether I got back up the night. And I tried one last time, my 12th time to, to make it. And I was finally ready. And who did I beat out? Joe, you know who I beat out, right? A guy named Jan Stederud, who is the only kicker right now in the NFL Hall of Fame. I'm in the Chiefs Hall of Fame. But uh, I got to beat out the greatest kicker in the history of the game. Why? Because of all those rejections. Why? Because I realized those rejections were never failures. Because somebody had been there to tell me, guess what? This is where the good stuff is. This is where you grow as a human being. This is where we dig deeper. And think about what happened. I heard about from, from you all how that semifinal game maybe was even a bigger test for you. And there was almost a sense of inevitability when you got to the championship game. Because you just knew. You dug deep so many times, you were just absolutely ready. And so I don't know who your Dick Johnson is. You may have him now. If you don't keep looking for him, you know, and keep being that to somebody the way you were to shy. But, uh, you know, it's just so powerful what you mean to a lot of people you will never be and so your lives can be defined by that in fact i wrote on here champions and courage because your coach talked about courage oh, oh. <laughs> and doing the right thing when it doesn't matter and so i you know, I want to share that with you, and I, I'm not going to speak much longer. But, uh, you know, that really, in the end, I told Carson and the guys, you know, you know what the most important and meaningful event in my football career ever was? Two seconds left, high school. Two seconds left of my high school career, kicked a 45 yard field goal, re landed in the mud and the rain. It wasn't the Pro Bowl. It wasn't the playoffs against Pittsburgh. What? It was high school. And that day, Mr. Johnson yelling at me, this is it, we've trained for this. And it was 
muddy and rainy and cold and windy, and I nail a 45 yard. It's just like I, I just knew I had to rise to the occasion. And that ball went through literally as time uh, ran out, and Landon was running off the field thinking they'd won the game. I've met a number of those guys since saying they've never quite recovered. <laughs> <laughs> You know, but I prepared for that moment, and that became something I could use the rest of my life. And don't you think that maybe at some place, knowing that was something that kept propelling me to think maybe I could do more. So I challenge all of you to use this lesson, this season, not just as, gosh, that was great, and gosh, it was unique that we were such a great group of guys that come together. We had the same offensive system for three years with Coach Jermaine and Coach Schwartz and all the great coaches here. But most importantly, use this to build, to be the great people you already are showing you can be. Because, you know what? Being a state championship team is great. Maybe one of you is going to be an incredible doctor that saves lives, that writes great things, that makes great music. And by the way, my guest tonight, I've got to embarrass her, the great country legend, the country music hall of famer from Mason herself, Jesse Coulter. Stand up. of the adversity that she had to overcome, working and living with Waylon and the music industry. All of us are going to have adversity. And my thing is, what you've got right now is you've got some tools and some weapons that will inspire other people. So use them, look for those opportunities, keep looking for the Dick Johnsons in your life, not just the ones here, but out there in college and ASU and hopefully Ohio State, right, Coach? Yes. You know, Coach and I were almost teammates in 2000 with Rams. I Tried as a kicker when the kicker was hurt. They almost used me. <laughs> so I'm just going to end with just a couple things, okay? Number one, what does the kicker do? The kicker has to learn to focus, okay? You guys have learned to focus. Keep realizing and employing that ability to focus in anything you do in life, okay? Number one, focus. Focus on, because you can do that, right? The receiver deep in the end zone, you got two guys about to hit you. You just know you're going to get hit. The kicker. Hunter, quarterback, wrap up perfect tackle when there's no one there, you open in the, in the side, and you're the only guy out there you have to make that tackle. Focus. To be a great student, to be great at anything. Number two is the other thing that you guys tasted this year is passion. Just, just remember, at this point, and the principal, doctor, thank you, obviously you've made a, a great contribution to the atmosphere in the school. Number two is passion. From now on, you guys are going to be out of high school. You, you, need, you have an obligation to find your own passion. Whatever that is, honor that. God's given you each unique gifts. The second you honor what your unique gifts are, you're going to feel extra power. Whatever that is. And the third thing, obviously, is persistence. Just stick with it because when you have the high, the high goals, the difficulty will be there. But guess what? The guys that do great in the NFL, Deron Sherry, being one of my, one of my teammates, Deron Sherry was 5'11", not even six feet, six Pro Bowls. He ran about a 4'8", 40, six Pro Bowls, and now he's president of Anheuser-Busch in Kansas City. These are skills that you will learn by being persistent, being the guy that outworks everybody, outfocuses, and never looks for excuses. And of course, also is a great teammate. And the final thing, when you got those things in mind, purpose. When you're living the highest purpose you have, you know God's intended you to do some great things, and you're doing them, and you know it. And that's when you will attract so many great people to you. So, you know what, I don't know if this was more the same for you, but I am so honored to have been part of this. I'll leave you with this quote from Teddy Roosevelt. It's not the man who points out how the strong man assembled. The credit belongs to the man and woman who is actually in the arena who strives and valiantly and comes short again and again and again, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who in the end triumphs greatly, and if he or she fails, at least fails while daring greatly so that they will never be lost with those very cold and timid souls who know neither victory nor defeat. God bless you. Thank you for having me tonight. You guys are awesome.